no contact what are they not saying what what do you need to know what message is here for you today if you claim this reading let me know put a like on it or let me know in the comments no contact what are they not saying private readings are always available what are they not saying you and i were too young I want to feel that way again. I left when I saw you with somebody. So this is a very old, old first love situation. It feels like the both of you went through a lot together. And it feels like one of you or both of you wants to revisit it again but then I'm a little bit wary of it because there's this feeling of are you both just wanting to be young again and have that boundless energy and that optimism and and that and it, when you both were connected was at a point in your life where everything felt good and simple but then when you were actually back there things were complicated and hard because you were figuring the world out you know I'm gonna pull through the Morgan Greer deck I'm gonna do a nine card spread it feels like two people who've never forgotten about each other two people that just feel connected and two people that remind each other of simpler times but then when I put my feet back in those times they weren't that simple they weren't that simple. It was confusing. But it's almost like you want to go back and enjoy that time with who you are now. Um, because you'd appreciate it so much more. Because you're so much more grounded as a person. So let's have a look. What are they not saying? This is no contact. Uh, the Eight of Swords reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Nine of Rods or the Nine of Wands. Um... One of you's been through a divorce. One of you's been through a divorce or the breakup of a really serious relationship. And it's really reopened up the past. It feels like at the point when you broke up years and years and years ago, it feels like years ago, it was a long time ago in a general scheme of things. You lost contact with the Eight of Swords reversed. There's a loss of contact. But then there's also this feeling of when you were back in that situation, one of you wanted to talk about it and sort it out and the other one shut down from it and moved on pretty quickly. And it feels like one of you moved on into a very long committed relationship after that. That relationship has broken down. And it feels like this person, I think you're both at a similar point in life at the moment of, of there's been changes and you've both been through a lot individually. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. So the Queen of Pentacles is the centre card for my nine card spread. So the first three cards is looking at the past. These three cards are looking at now and then the next three cards are looking forward it feels like with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, it's not that you're both at a stage where you want to be building a life together. You have a life that, you you know, you're proud of and they've built a life that they're kind of proud of. So it's not like young people starting a home together. They've got nothing and, and you have to build up everything. This is two people you've got your ten of pentacles they've got their ten of pentacles and then it'd be well if we got back together if we figured this out if we gave it another chance whose toaster are we getting rid of whose fridge are we getting rid of whose house are we moving into is it both of you together is it into a new place completely new place is it you moving in with them then moving in with you and it's like this big merger of life I'm picking up a very strong earth sign as well with all the coins that are coming out. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles. This per this situation makes you feel quite grounded. It may make your heart flutter and it may make you feel a little bit nervous. But overall, you've got your feet on the ground. And it feels like the both of you are older and wiser. And the both of you now recognise what a wonderful connection it was back then. But back then when you were young, you couldn't appreciate it. The Eight of the eight of coins you know you've both got a lot going on you know in life work 
self-employment possibly building your own business um side hustles yeah, moving forward, we've got the hangman reversed. Someone's going to have to make sacrifice to move forward. We've got the page of rods reversed. And then we've got the ten of rods reversed. So, one of you or both of you, if you both really want to make a go of it this time around, if you've been thinking about reaching out to this person, do it. Just do it. um, Because it feels like they're thinking about reaching out to you. But the both of you are going to have to make space. That's the message that's here. With that hangman reversed, a sacrifice needs to be made to move this forward. And it's like, you need to declutter. You need to make space for somebody. If you've been single for a really long time, and your life is really full, and you focus on work, and you focus on yourself, and you focus on your hobbies, and your, your life is full of all of the things that it's full and you want a relationship, you need to make space for it. And that's both of you. The both of you are mirroring each other right now. You're both at that point in life where this really could be an opportunity to make the go of it, but you need to let go of the burdens of life. It feels like the both of you have people around you that likes to add to your to-do list, likes to add to your workload, and you're more than capable of doing it. But there's sometimes when you need to say no, the both of you do. When you are back in contact with this person again, send them this reading. Because if you both really want to make it work this time, you're gonna have to be really selfish with that page of rod the page of rods reversed. It's a card of sometimes it's one person being selfish, but no, the both of you are gonna have to be selfish if you want it. And that means saying no to other people, family, work. All of the things. I'm going to pull some charms. What do the charms want you to know? Little signs from the universe. Private readings are always available. If you want to help me get into the algorithm, put something in the comments. We've got a sun. We've got a starfish. Um, we've got a cross, which is about faith. One of you may have had a church wedding. Um, we've got a little white cat. We've got a flower, and I'm seeing it as a tattoo. I'm not sure why. I think it's a daffodil. Uh, we have a love. Yeah. It's a shame that things didn't work out the first time around, but sometimes when I feel that... We've got a seashell and a, a little golden ball. Sometimes when I feel that two people are introduced to each other but then they have to go away to be able to come back there's normally a child that's been born that's meant to be on this earth and that child was meant to be born with somebody else um and it feels like you can both be really good step parents to each of your situations and it just feels lovely but the both of you are going to have to make a sacrifice if you both want to be together. But it feels like you could be together and it could be really happy. Um, but you won't know unless you reach out to them. You won't know unless you contact them. And you won't know if you don't, if you don't make it possible for them to find you as well. If you want someone to find you who's lost touch with you, have a very public face in social media um, that people can easily search and they can e easily contact you so that's what i have for you open up open up open up to it open up to it and see what comes i'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection as the angels take you anyway thank you so much for being here today